time lapse is an amazing technique for videos. I will show you now how you can make a time lapse video as well. A time lapse video is simply a lot of pictures put behind each other. You can also simply record a long video, but that will result in an extremely huge file. And also pictures usually have a better image quality. You need a camera that is able to take pictures by its own. If you have a DSLR, you need an intervalometer. I have one included in my Canon 600D through Magic Lantern. Even though I could use a higher resolution, I usually only use size S, what is full HD, simply to have in the end less data. I would also use 16 to 9 because this will be the size in the video too. Now you have to think about how often the camera should take a picture. This is a simple mass calculation. Depending on your settings, your video will have 25 or 30 frames per second. I use 25. So when I take 25 pictures, it will be in the end 1 second of video. If I take a picture all 10 seconds, I will have every minute 6 pictures. This means that 4 minutes of real lifetime will be 1 second in the final video. First of all, you have to frame your camera exactly how you want it. You can't change it later. Especially when filming the sky, a super wide angle lens will be advisable. It is important that every picture has the exact same camera settings. Because of that we have to put everything in manual mode, even the focus. If you keep it in automatic mode, the camera might use slightly different settings for each picture and it will be flickering. After choosing all the settings, we press start. Now it is important that you do not touch your camera anymore and simply wait. I usually use the live view so that I can control the exposure of my pictures. But if you want to save battery life, then you can also use the normal mode or even turn the screen off. One hundred fifteen pictures are four and a half seconds of video. That should be enough for now. It depends on the software you use on how you continue with editing. In Premiere Pro, I can simply drag and drop the pictures into my timeline. Now I select them all, change the speed to zero 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 one, so that every second consists out of twenty five pictures. At this evening, I created two time lapse videos. You can see at the end of the second video that even a slight change of the camera will look strange in the time-lapse video. If you have any questions then feel free to write in the comments and watch my other videos to learn more about video DSLR.